Hey guys, it's Miha and welcome back to my new video. In this video I will be explaining what you need to know and how to use Mortar Calculator in Postscriptum. Before we go into this, if you haven't seen my Mortar tutorial video, you can find the link to the video down below in description. And take a moment and help my channel grow by clicking on subscribe button, I really thank you for that. So far we've known two Mortar Calculators in Postscriptum. One being on the web browser and the other one as a mobile app. Ok, let's start with the first one. To find it, simply type in Google Postscriptum Mortar Calculator and click on Postscriptum MC. It's usually on top of search results. Or you can use the shortcut link down in description. So as you enter on this page, on top of your screen you can select map and on left hand side of the screen you can select which type of mortar you're using. Keep in mind that German, US and British 3 inch all have the same characteristics in game. Next thing you need to know is on which grid you have your mortar. You can see that in bottom right corner when you open up map in game. Find that spot on the map and click to mark that spot as your mortar position. If there are no grid squares visible in calculator, Open Map Settings tab on left side of the screen and enable Show Keypad Grid. Now find your target and click again. In the bottom left corner of the screen you can see distance in meters, bearing and distance in milliradians already calculated between mortar position and target. If you want to remove target or mortar from calculator map you can do that by clicking on the red X icon in top right corner or open up Remove Pins tab on left side of the screen and just click on the icon you want to remove. If you want just to reposition any of your icons on the map, for example your mortar is still on the same position and now you want to hit different target, simply click wherever you want to hit next. If you want to reposition mortar, click on mortar icon on the map and drag it to new position. Another way of getting your bearing and distance is by knowing both grid positions, mortar and target, and you can type them in by clicking on the plus icon in bottom right corner. Once you have your grids in, just click on the plus icon next to it and it will appear on the map. By now you have probably noticed that there is also advanced mode option. I will not be going too deep into this one. Main differences are that here you can calculate for multiple mortar shells at once. If you want to hit one particular line on the map or white area and you can also set space in meters between each shell. In here you need to set two targets instead of one and in bottom left corner just above your bearing and distance you can see number of shells it will take to cover that line or area. There you can select between shells or by clicking on blue circle on the map and the calculator will do the rest. The second mortar calculator in Postscriptum is a mobile app and that's the one I use. Main reason for that is that I don't want to jump out of the game into web browser and then back again. And I also think it's faster. This is how this app looks like. To be able to type in mortar position Mortar button must be selected in bottom left corner. Here you have arrow pointers to move left or right when you're typing in mortar or target grid. To type in target grid you have to select target on bottom of the screen. Mortar type you can select with left and right arrows on top of the screen. But here is the tricky part with this one. From all available mortars in this app only French 3 inch works correctly for German, US and British 3 inch mortars and French 4 inch in app gives you correct calculations for British 4 inch mortar in game. And we all know that French faction uses British mortars in game so there is actually no French mortar in Postscriptum. Ok guys that's about it for this video guide, if you find it useful hit like and leave a comment. If you want to add something or you disagree also leave it in the comments. If you find it difficult to calculate multiple grid targets in short time frame, here's an idea. Try and build multiple mortars and set them to hit different targets or wider area. Or let's leave that for a future video. Anyway, thanks for watching, click subscribe and help my channel grow. Stay safe and I'll see you soon in my next video.